what is up guys this is the yellow liner here and we are bringing you another live commentary and gameplay uh we are going to be cops on hot pursuit multiplayer mode and we are playing on final fang and supercars i always thought this is a very interesting image i'm not sure if you you can see it very clearly but I like it a lot. So yeah, today we're using a Lamborghini <coughs> as a cop car. I think we're using the Galagro. Galagro. Sorry. And uh, I, I usually try to use... I don't, don't want to say fast, but... Well, like cars that have pretty high speed, but yet are sturdy. And I've uh, found that the this Lamborghini is probably one of the best super. We're playing on super mode, by the way. Super car cop cars. Uh, other people use other Lamborghinis. They use um, Corvettes. They've used, uh, I believe, oh, wow, what a bad start on the game. They've used other things like the Mustang Shelby. The Mustang Shelby is a pretty okay car, I can't really argue with people when they say, hey, I use that, but to me it just seems like a really heavy car. I don't know, like, it seems like the reaction of the car is, it takes too long, you know? Like, I'll be driving with it, and I want to turn, and, uh, you know, I crash into something. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm just not good with that kind of car, but in my opinion, I think it's just a, a heavy set car. And, uh, therefore, I don't like to use it that much. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely one of my preferred, preferred cars. Um, fast, powerful, you know, it's got everything. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty well built, you know? You can't, this car is not a car that you can go wrong with. I mean, it's got the speed, it's got the power, it's got everything. And it's also got a control, too. Like, um, for example, I, as a cop, like to turn a lot. I like to make fast moves, I like to brake very fast. Um, and I need, I need a car that, when I command it, it can stop on a guy. And this is exactly one of those cars. I want to stop with it, and the moment I, click, I hit the L2, it stops. And that I like that because in that way I know I have a reliable car. And when I know I have a, a reliable car, like for example there, I I if I would not have had a reliable car, I would have most definitely crash. But because this car is so reliable and it's so it responds so well to actions, I was just able to break it, turn it around, and immediately come back in control. And that's the kind of car when you're playing as a cop, even as a as a wanted person, speed is not everything. People think that speed is the most important thing. It's not. If you need to have an all-around car. If you just have a fast car, then you don't have a good car. And most people don't understand that. We go with these fast cars, and after like three minutes of the match, they're wrecked. And they're like, how does that happen? I have such a fast car. And they don't understand that it's not all about the car, the, the speed of the car. But yeah, that, that's a very controversial topic there. I mean, some people, some people can use the fast cars to their advantage. I mean, for example, like, um, I know a few people, I, and their names are escaping me, some of my friends, that use very fast cars, like, extremely fast. And they're very weak, but they know how to use the car. They know to use the speed to their advantage, because obviously when you have more speed, you can uh, provide heavier hits, thus creating more, uh, more, more power, or more damage to the suspect. But some people, like myself, don't know how to use these cars, and, oh, do you see that? That is a perfect example of uh, the kind of control I'm talking about. I'm not sure if some of you caught that. I'm pretty sure you, sh you caught that, but just in case, what happened was my I, I had an EMP on that guy, and he 
he stopped to uh, avoid my EMP. And I turned like that, and I got him. Because the car immediately, the moment I clicked for it to stop, it stopped. And uh, yeah, it looks like it looks like uh, this is a very successful race because uh, we did a good job here. We we killed everyone. So I had one cake down, which is pretty good. But uh, yeah, definitely when you play on these kind of modes, I'm the first place. Thank you very much. Definitely when you play on these kind of modes, you have to always choose the best car. And the best car is not the fast car. The best car is the one that goes fast responds Im immediately. You need to go in a free drive mode and you have to try and you just have to experiment for hours braking, turning, seeing which car responds the most and in conditions too. People think when you play in modes like when you're playing in rain when you're playing like for example Lakeside Dream people think when you go on wet roads it doesn't count. It does count. You need to take everything in account when you choose a car. And the only way to do that is through patience, dedication, and always trying that car out. So that's about it for me today. Uh, this was our Friday special. My intro, made by Multimedia uh, Reviews. A great guy, charges 5 to $10 per in intro. Uh, and so I like his intros a lot, they're very nice. And uh, I actually got, just got a new intro from him. He has a contest. Every Monday, I believe, if I'm wrong, just go on his channel and check it, where you can enter and you get a free intro. However, you don't even need to, uh, I mean, his intros are worth $10, without a doubt. I don't have to pay $10 for one intro. I mean, they're good. They have the good detail and everything. So you're a new YouTuber, you want to check out the channel, you want to get an intro video, contact him. So, yeah, and I'd also like to thank everyone for their support, their views, and, uh... Thank you everyone, thank you to my subscribers, and uh, please like and rate, it, rate this video, and I will see you later. This is the Yellow Niner.